burned a silver-violet light. It was a night when chaos swept the lands of this old world. Humans hid their children from the rot that hunted for them. The army of the undead looked for the child of power, everywhere and anywhere. Blood tainted the ground of every human village that was under the violet moon. People screamed and pleaded for their lives, but the rot had no emotion and did not feel. Meanwhile, a young couple ran far away from the villages as fast as their human legs could carry them. Away from the horrors of that night. Away from the rot. When they could no longer hear the screams of the people, they stopped to regain their breath. Celesta, with her entire body shaken due to exhaustion, asked, How is our child? We can't let them take her too. Clef took a few seconds to answer. He was regaining his breath. He looked at their newborn child, whom he held with great care in his hands and said, She is still sleeping soundly. Don't worry, we will save our child. Are we almost there? Celesta asked, looking ahead with watery eyes, as if their journey would never end. Yes, the cave is just beyond the hill. But we must hurry. We don't have a lot of time, Clef said trying to be strong when in fact his entire world was falling apart. The young couple continued running without stopping a second time until they reached the cave that no human dared to enter. A cave long forgotten by humans. A cave that was as old as magic itself. Desperate to save their newborn daughter's life, they were ready to do anything. As they were entering the cave, the ground started to shake and that made the young couple halt in fear. They were still almost frozen by the uncertainty of what lay ahead, when suddenly, a ferocious beast appeared, standing before them just a few meters, withdrawn into the shadows. Two enormous brown-blue eyes glared directly at the humans. A slow but escalating growl came from within the beast. Wait, don't hurt us, or at the very least don't hurt her, I beg of you, Clef said trembling as he uncovered their newborn child. The brown-blue eyes fixed their gaze upon the newborn child and blinked once. Slowly, the beast emerged forward from within the shadows. As the beast emerged, a huge wolf-like creature was revealed to the humans in the cave. The wolf-like creature towered over the humans by double their size. The beast showed all its teeth, and with an angry expression on its face said, Out of all places, you humans dare come here. Please help us. You are the only hope our daughter has to survive the night, Celesta exclaimed as she trembled in fear. Help? Help, you say? And why would I help you? You humans have treated every magical creature, including me, like filth and disease. Why would I help you? The beast said as it took one step closer to them. Your lives and the life of your child depend on your answer. Answer carefully. Clef got on his knees, followed by Celesta, and they humbly lowered their heads to the floor in hope that the powerful beast would have compassion for them. Clef said with a broken voice, You weren't even born when all of these began, and we have always been against it. Please, please, just save our daughter. Prove every human wrong about the magical creatures. We are sure that there is good in you. You were made powerful for a reason. If you wanted to, you could have destroyed the human village yourself, but you didn't. We've always known you are good, and that's why your name is the Watcher. Celeste continued, in between crying and short breaths. Our daughter can save this world. There is much good in her. She has been chosen by the moon. She is a child of power. The Watcher thought for a few seconds. Then his eyes widened as he realized what was in front of him. He lowered his stance and said, Indeed, she is. I am at your service. You do not need to fear me any longer. I must say, you were brave enough to defy the belief of your village. Against all odds, you came to ask for help from the very thing you were taught to fear. That takes a believing heart 